the 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 Amazon Prime Air drone system that got featured apparently on 60 Minutes. Apparently they surprised Charlie Rose with this thing. I'll get some footage up in a second for you guys on video. Have you guys seen this thing? I, how can you miss it at this point? <laughs> it is. Uh, I look at it as a future Jagoff catching machine for sure, buzzing around <laughs> Pittsburgh, catching people from all angles. Yeah, certainly. Wow. What about you, Mike? The, the, the first thing I want to do when this comes out is I want to order Star Wars action figures and then when it shows up, just say these weren't the droids I was looking for. So that's the first thing I want to do. <laughs> so the idea is, a, you see on the video, they're in a shipping center. They put in this little protective box. It goes down. It goes down the conveyor belt. Uh, gets loaded onto a drone. The drone apparently can go about ten miles. Will deliver within a half an hour. Um, of, you know, ten miles of a shipping center. So I'm wondering, like, you know, how that's going to work. It's definitely going to be a very geographically uh, a limiting feature. Uh, it's going to be great for me. It's going to be great. Well, you're in New York City. You get everything, right? <laughs> um, so, <laughs> but but they said this uh, could take. I think they said four to five years. Uh, some some stuff I've been listening to says this probably won't actually happen until 2020, if it should happen. Because I think the well, one you got to get by the FAA, right? Um, mm -hmm. and, and the FAA, uh, uh, I think they were saying, uh, aren't planning to approve something like this until about 2020. So it's going to be down the line, but see that if they're showing this off, uh, I think that they see the USPS or UPS. I, I, I can't get the letters straight on those ones. Uh, one of them is looking into something like this with drones too. Probably UPS. Probably UPS. Yeah, I would venture to say. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably not the government run one, right? But the government's already got the drones. <laughs> <laughs> They've already yeah, but their packages are aren't really handled with care. No, no, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. So, I mean, would you guys see? I mean, we already have um, in certain areas they're they're having kind of a door delivery same day. Uh, uh, you know, especially like in San Francisco with services like Amazon. I think Walmart's looking to do something similar. Um, is, is this? Uh, could you imagine a day where we're sitting here in Pittsburgh or New York City and we're seeing a bunch of drones just, you know, delivering our toilet paper for us? <laughs> you know, I think it. Uh, get, I, I think it br brings some interesting. And you know, every solution comes with its own situation of of problems. You know, what happens when there are four or five of them running around and clogging the airspace when a medical helicopter has cut through or, you know, these kind of things. I, I think, um, I think it's a fantastic, uh, I think it's great. There won't be UPS drivers. There'll be drone drivers in the future sitting around in brown shorts with controllers. <laughs> but in the meantime, uh, you know, I think it certainly has to be, it has to have some think through on it, but man, I would love to be the first one who receives a package. There's no question. <laughs> 